Hi everyone, I'm Sean. Um, today I am going to do a mukbang from Ivers in Seattle. It's a local fisher, fish, fish food place, um, fish and chips. And uh, right now I'm driving onto a ferry, so we're gonna take a ferry ride and um, eat some fish and chips together and have lunch and some clam chowder waving to the guys getting me on we're going on to the ferry it's raining today it's beautiful I love the rain um, not a lot of people on the ferry so we're just gonna sit and enjoy some some uh, fish and chips let's see if I can get parked here I think I'm, I think I'm parked let's go a little bit more Okay, hope you can see me and everything's good. I think so. Uh, it's in the afternoon here. Um, so let's get started, huh? Shall we? Let's take off our seatbelt. Uh, let's, I've got Ivers and uh, let's do a, I got a drink. I've got, they don't have Dr. Pepper, but they have Mr. Pibb. So we're doing a, how's that? or a thumbnail <laughs> okay um, and I have a little bit of a story to tell you about um, about Ivers to kind of get you going um, let's get this started we got I've got some fish and chips and a drink here okay trying to find my straw I think I found it for the drink, we're gonna try the drink first. Let's get this for you on camera. Oh, gosh, that makes an awful sound. I'm sorry. Okay, let's try. Mr. Pib. Oh, very sweet. It's been a long time since I've had Mr. Pib. All right, Ivers. Let's see what we got here. Got some lemon. Uh, gotta have fish and chips with lemon. Got some tartar sauce and some ketchup. And they don't charge you for either of these. These are all free or with your meal. One thing uh, that I like about Ivers is uh, it's very uh, authentic. You know, it's your got your fish and chips. Looks good. Maybe I take a thumbnail with the fish and chips, and uh, I don't know. I don't think I don't think I don't think I get to char. I don't get to pick. I don't get to pick the thumbnails. Um, YouTube picks the thumbnails, so that's why. So hold on, let me. My car is still going. So anyway, there's the fish and chips. These are the Alaska cod and some French fries. Oh, they look good. You can't go wrong with fried food, right? Um, I also got some in another little bag. Oh, sorry. Uh, another little bag. We've got some uh, clam chowder. So I'll be doing that as well. Put that over there. And get a spoon for clam chowder. Let's open up one of these tartar sauce for our, oh, smells like pickles. I think it's a, mm, you can really taste the dill. I, I, it's not a sweet, it's not a sweet um, tartar. It's more of a, a tart, tart tap. Okay. All right. Trying to get organized here. We've got some napkins. And we've got our lemons. You have to ask special for the lemons. They just don't give lemons, so you have to ask extra. And we're gonna put some on our fish and chips. I like the lemon, it just adds a little more flavor to the you know to the fish. Um, we're gonna open up one of our ketchups. 
ketchup. We'll do that. The ferry hasn't started yet. It's a short ferry. I'm in Mocotillo, Washington. Um, we're going over to Clinton. It's a, just a short ferry ride. We'll see how that goes. Let's try our fish and chips, shall we? Mm. Very, very good. Just like, mm. so good. Want to see the inside? tell you some history about Ivers. Um, let's see, Ivers started in 1938, been around for 82 years. It's a long time to be making fish. Uh, it started in uh, by a man, He uh, his name was Ivor Hagland, and he was 33 years old, a uh, Seattle native. Um, he was a folk singer before he got into fish and chips. So that was pretty cool. Um, and it started in Seattle. And uh, he actually, let's get some tartar sauce over here. He actually um, started with a, like an aquarium. So in Seattle, he had like, he would show off different uh, animals, or not animals, sea life that was around the Puget Sound. And uh, he would charge a nickel for everybody to come in and and take a look at some sea life and then he started with a little shop next to it that he would serve uh, fish and chips so you know and uh, later it turned out that fish and chips were actually more popular than his sea life and uh, so a sea life aquarium closed in uh, 1956 so it wasn't around well that's that's a lot of years I guess 20 no 18 years so mm. The ferry's moving. Mm. So let's see here. Mm. It feels so good. doing a speaker telling us about the what to do in case of a wreck sinkage they have a uh, life preserves everywhere and they're asking us not to get out of our cars one I don't know if you know but one of the things about the Seattle ferries and the Puget Sound ferries including this one in Mocotillo, is that you can drive on the ferry. And you can, there's actually a, a sitting area upstairs and during non-COVID times, you can actually sit upstairs and um, some of the ferries actually have, sorry, my phone rang right in the middle. So we're back, we're back. Um, anyway, what I was saying was that uh, the ferries, some of the ferries actually, they used to have uh, Ivers on the ferries, but the times are making it so that they don't serve food. They serve like um, um, vending machines, you know, because COVID. COVID messes everything up. Anyway, here's a mm, french fry. Real potato. Very, uh, very good flavor. Perfectly salted. Mm. Napkins. Another story about Ivers is um, apparently Iver used to do hoaxes and uh, pranks and things like that. And in um, 
uh, 19, uh, well, 2009, somebody put a, put a, like a hoax to the Seattle Times at the time and uh, said that Ivers had uh, actually sunk signs that were like billboards for and would display 75 cents for a cup of chowder and to go further the guy who originally placed the hoax uh, and, and the, the billboards were actually for uh, submarines that would come by and Iver the original Iver he had talked about doing this and so in 2009 they actually pulled up a billboard and I'll try to put a picture of it um, a billboard that they pulled out of the water to further the hoax and um, they actually just they put I guess they made the signs so that it was obvious that they were a hoax like they had a different governor name and they had um, different different things that were like obvious that it was a hoax but uh, it took a while and Ivers at the time they actually uh, enjoyed the you know the notoriety so they actually started serving clam chowder for 75 cents for a little while so that was pretty funny interesting let's try doing this mm, tartar sauce So good. There's several locations still around um, the Seattle area and Spokane. So you can, if you come to Seattle, this is this is one of the one of the favorite thing to do is stop at Ivers and get fish and chips. It's been around for years. you were here to share it with me. Cheers. Let's open up the corn, or I keep calling it corn, clam chowder. Open this up. Feels very hot. Oh, that looks oh creamy and, and clammy. Can you see it? Oh yeah, that's good. That's good. Mm. Boy, it's very chunky, very thick. Make it with cream. Oh yeah, that's good stuff. Let's try a bite of it. It's hot. I don't know if you can see the steam. Oh wow, that's rich, 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 rich. There's chunks of potatoes in there and some onion. Mm. Lots of clam, every bite. <laughs> mm. Oh, it feels warm going down to my tummy. It's like on a cold day like this, it's like it really is a uh, really is hitting the spot. Mm. Wow. Um, wow, it's very, uh, very tasty. Mm. I can see the, um, the other land over there. I wish I could share with you guys. Let's try doing that. Oh wow, so good. Seriously, my stomach is all nice and toasty now. <laughs> all right, let's see if I can get you to turn around here. Let's see here, I don't know if you can see.
lost you again. <laughs> I keep hitting the wrong button, I guess. I don't know. Welcome back. Um, anyway, I don't know if you were able to see the, the ferry where we're going, but we're almost at the other end. It's like the the fish is buttery soft and really tastes a good fish, not bad fishy smell or fishy taste. So good. Mm. <laughs> Let's get some ketchup for our I love ketchup. Mm. Very good. Alright. Well, we're coming to the close. Thank you for taking the ferry ride with me and uh, having lunch. Um, I will uh, hopefully see you guys soon. I'll go to a new place. Um, if you could like and subscribe, I guess I'm new to this, so please subscribe if you want. Uh, it's alright. <laughs> um, alright, hope you guys have a great day. We'll see you next time. Alright, take care.